Gauravam Foundation is a non-profit, non-governmental organization established in 2015 with focus on promoting, restoring dignity and hope to human life, especially among the poor and the underprivileged. Based in Hyderabad, the capital city of Telangana state, GF's mission is to invest in human, natural and creative potential, serving as thoughtful stewards and catalysts. Driven by values of social justice, impactful interventions to alleviate poverty and socio-economic empowerment, GF implements various programs to achieve its mission of transforming the less privileged communities, improve their education and earning potential and lead healthier, happier lives. Working on issues directly at the community level or in strategic partnership with governments, other non-profit entities and business leadership, Gauravam Foundation's initiatives revolve around improving access to quality education, health, nutrition, skills and employment opportunities for the disadvantaged poor. In this regard, the Foundation mentors and supports Zilla Parishad and government schools for improvement of physical infrastructure, setting up of computer labs and digital classrooms, expanding library and sports facilities and providing scholarships to meritorious students. GF has also embarked on infrastructure improvement in government hospitals and has facilitated construction of over 600 toilets come bathrooms etc. Besides, Gauravam Foundation undertakes relief activities during natural disasters, calamities and pandemic situations. At Hyderabad, like in the rest of the country, the COVID-19 lockdown on March 24, 2020 was sudden, severe and absolute. The people vanished from the streets. The roads were deserted. Tens of thousands of people suddenly found themselves without wages and no jobs. Most of them were daily wage earners. Migrant workers from far off Jharkhand, Bihar, Uttar Pradesh, West Bengal, Assam, Rajasthan and several other states in the country. With their meager savings having dried up, they were stranded without work, could barely afford rent or even food and unable to return to their hometown due to lockdown and lack of transportation of any kind. The Telangana state government provided food grains, etc. to help daily wage earners and the BPL, below poverty line households, to cope up with the lockdown and set up shelter homes for them through NGOs and community halls, stadiums, government schools, etc. Gauravam Foundation with its primary objective of restoring dignity and hope to human life undertook COVID-19 relief activities. It mobilized support in cash, kind and volunteer services and initially reached out to men, women and children housed in shelter homes managed by Hyderabad Municipal Corporation and Aman Bedika Trust. With police help, wholesale shops were opened for bulk purchase of clothing material. The Department of Posts provided mail vans for transportation of material to the shelter homes. Within two weeks, GF team covered nine shelter homes and distributed basic necessity items to 2,501 migrant labor, orphan children, homeless persons and beggars. When the government extended the lockdown period in its bid to contain the spread of the virus, the anxiety levels for the poor migrant workers and their families living in their makeshift dwellings shot up hugely. They could barely afford the food and in dire need of rations. Gauravam Foundation team 
took up packing and distribution of grocery bags with dry rations to 2,000 migrant labor families at 1,000 rupees per bag. That would last for about 10 to 15 days. It was heartwarming to see like-minded friends, family and colleagues from Department of Posts volunteering to participate in the activities. Maintaining all the social distance norms, the team systematically packed the grocery items. Otherwise, lists of migrant workers and needy families with details were obtained through government agencies, network of NGOs, activists and volunteers. The numbers of needy people were staggering. Once the lists were cross-verified to identify genuine beneficiaries, the GF volunteers took up distribution activity by traveling long distances with loaded mail vans to distribute grocery bags at labor camps on construction sites, busties, small settlement areas, leprosy colony, localities where transgenders lived and such other places. The grocery bags came as a blessing to ward off immediate hunger and anxiety. हमारे इधर शेरलापाली हैदराबाद काम करने के लिए इधर कोई मेरे को साथ नहीं दिया गवर्नमेंट कंडीशन हमको उधर से चाव दिया। Within a period of four weeks, GF team had distributed grocery bags to 2,140 migrant labour families and daily wage earners, covering about. 8,224 persons in 73 locations in four districts. On May 6th, when the Telangana government further extended the lockdown for the third time to May 29th, panic grew among the migrants. Uncertainty about the future looming large and with no work and income, no public transport, they became desperate to go home in any which way possible. Walking, bicycling hundreds of kilometers, hitchhiking crammed into trucks and buses. Mowed by their plight, we at GF came up with a new initiative, providing journey food packs as a sustenance to the homeward bound migrant labor. Gauravam Foundation Chairman's Villa at Namaha Lakewood was turned into a packing center. Namaha community members responded with tremendous commitment and volunteered to prepare the journey food packs comprising of items that would last at least for two journey days. team of volunteers boiled eggs starting at 4 a.m. in the morning. Relentlessly, the other team members began packing from 10 a.m. onwards. And by 3 p.m., the journey foot packs were ready to be loaded onto a mail van and cars, all done in clockwise precision.
Each day, 1,000 to 2,500 journey food packs were distributed to migrant workers traveling in the Hoxham and late nights on national highways, critical road junctions, police stations, railway stations, at locations where they patiently waited for information or to catch a truck, bus or train. On 23rd May 2020, about 6,500 journey food packets were packed and distributed at Secunderabad railway station to migrant workers travelling by seven trains. Within four weeks, the GF team had distributed journey food packs to 40,742 migrant workers and families travelling by over 100 trucks. 60 buses, 7 trains or walking non-stop to their homes on the highways. For the homebound foot soldiers and the weary travellers, the journey foot packs came as a welcome relief. The selection and the nutritious content of the packed items were much appreciated. Commissioner, <laughs> Gauravam Foundations, besides working in close coordination with the teams of Telangana state government agencies that were overseeing the COVID-19 relief work, also worked with several NGOs and individuals. For us at Gauravam Foundation, it was a deeply humbling and learning experience that left us with ennobling thoughts as we wound up the COVID-19 relief activities by June last week 2020. Having reached out to 51,467 migrant workers and their families and several other homeless persons and beggars. We at Gauravam Foundation are deeply grateful to the generous donors and committed volunteers for their unstinted support in our COVID-19 relief activities. I would like to specially mention about uh, volunteers from uh, Postal Department uh, who worked tirelessly to prepare the grocery bags and also to get them distributed especially staff from uh, Hyderabad Sorting Division, um, particularly led by our uh, senior superintendent of uh, Railway Mail Service, Mail Motor uh, Vehicles Manager. They have worked tirelessly and supported Gauram Foundation um, enormously to get all the grocery bags prepared and uh, distributed. Similarly, uh, for the individual uh, journey food packs, uh, Namaha Lakewood community has literally uh, adopted Gauram Foundation's initiative. I'd like to thank them for sparing so much time, effort, compassion and commitment to complete this task uh, so beautifully and so thoughtfully. Uh, we are very, very grateful to all the donors and all the volunteers who have uh, made it possible for us uh, to work on this uh, program.